I'm, I'm fairly evangelical around Compellent, uh, and uh, I always say I made two mistakes with Compellent. Uh, one is they tried to talk me out of buying less 15K SaaS disk. You know, you don't need this. Your SATAs are going to work for you. You know, our algorithm does work. And we're like, no, no, no. Let me just go ahead and make sure I got enough spindles and enough speed. So my first mistake was buying too many drives. I really didn't need them. Now that was a mistake, but they were right. My second mistake was not listening to the first first mistake, right? Uh, uh, but, you know, their, their fluid data, their fluid data progression really works well. Uh, and I would say, you know, for 99% of my, my data, whether it's my ERP system or file data, this compellent does what it's supposed to do without my interaction with it. So c combining all those resources, having, and now I, can, I happen to use SSDs as well. I was going to ask about that. Yeah, yeah okay. and, and so by having that smaller, it's a much smaller tier as far as capacity, but by having that, uh, that option for extremely low latency, extremely high IOPS, and allowing the algorithm to do its work effectively, uh, I, I feel comfortable now in migrating everything to compellent, migrating everything to basically the same SAN. I have all the IOPS and latency issues kind of resolved at the moment. So Jack, do you envision, and maybe you're, you're moving in this direction already, sort of two tiers, so tier zero, SSD, flash, and then a bit bucket, you know, tier three SATA. You know, it, it's all about cost, right? If everything was uh, if everything was the same price, we'd all do SSDs, right? And so that's that's the whole point for tiered storage. Uh, it, it's cost per per megabyte or per gigabyte or per terabyte, right? Right now, uh, and uh, you know, so I see if we're still going to stay on the three tiers, but of course, as the price of SSDs is go going down, everybody's been waiting for this for years. Uh, for us, it has been a lifesaver uh, moving to SSD. Uh, I think we have one of the use cases to where you know we don't have extremely high IOPS, but we have extremely high latency due to some of our legacy file applications and ERP applications. And so we were having some you know, pretty critical performance issues in some areas where SSD was the answer at even a high price point. That's yeah. been a consistent theme that I've heard uh, from a lot of customers this week and, and elsewhere. Yeah, absolutely. I think we're going to see a, a consistent trend of more SSD use. We're going to see the two-tiered systems move to three-tiered as they adopt SSD. Uh, we saw a sharp rise this year uh, just with the, the lower cost of SSD, and I think that trend's going to continue. So as the, the cost of these resources comes down, we'll see more customers deploying uh, and realizing the benefits, right? Like you said, Jack, lower latency is one of the key reasons, but there's a small minority of data that really needs that highest performance, lowest latency. Um, but I think you're going to see the three-tiered architecture because uh, there's still going to be a, a majority of that data that would reside on those 15K spindles. We'd call that the tier two uh, today, right? So I think what we'll find is... Uh, as the cost goes down, tier two may start to disappear, but over the next year or two, I think we'll still see a more of a three-tiered three architecture.